Hey learners, welcome back to It's Fully Excited for Learning. So today we are going to do the project Balloon Buster 5. Okay, so let's get started. So this is my project and as you can see, I'll just reset it. So now if you press the space key, if you press the space key, arrow will be released and if you touch any of the balloon, then the balloon will get destroyed if the arrow touches any of the balloon. Okay, so and as you can see the score has been increasing. So now four score now as you can see, sorry because um, whenever I press the space key, there's actually function in mind that uh, whenever I press the space key, like it should move down the screen should move down like you know so that's the reason it's a little disturbing okay so let us get into the coding okay so where go arrow background red view so these all variables we already made them red b green b pink b blue b arrow group these are the groups okay so that means specific groups and all the red balloons will be in the red b, red red group pink balloons will be in the pink group green balloons will be in green b or the green group and all the blue in the blue group and arrows in the arrow group but there's no bow group because the same bow is continued the whole game but there's new arrows coming every time right so that's the reason and there's new uh, balloons coming so that's the reason we need a group for them now we don't need a group for a bow because it is not it's the same one it's not generating new things right so that's the reason okay so now let us look at the function preload in the function preload background image equals to load image brackets and then inverted comma background 0 dot png what this means that you are loading the image or storing the png in a variable okay so this how we load and in the preload we load it in the function preload okay so we already um, did all of these things in like in balloon bus 1 2 3 4 so i don't um, so if you have any more doubts regarding these then you can see my previous videos like balloon bus 1 2 3 okay so now let's get into function setup so in function setup we are we are setting the or we are declaring each variable okay so or not declaring like creating could also be so we are creating background and then this uh, measurement so zero zero that means the top left corner okay so top left corner and then six and six and so we are printing the screen like this so so get printed uh, we are printing the background okay so background dot add image background image so this means that we are adding the image so without this i'll show you how it would be you can see that it's just a blank variable uh, we already know that a blank variable without any animation or image will look like a gray square right so now this doesn't have an animation so it's look it looks like a gray square okay okay so we have added the image and we are scaling the image so i think 2.5 would be too less let's just Let's make it three or something. So you can see like, yeah, now it looks good. Okay. So scaling means I'm making it bigger or smaller. So suppose this one, the background is actually really small. See, background is really small. Without the background, you can see that um, it's getting print. Like we are printing it hundreds of times. But this pink balloon is not like that because it's going through the background. Now it's not. So as you can see, it looks nice actually. But uh, it, should, it shouldn't be like this. So that's the reason we need to scale it. Okay. 
some uh, some pictures are big some pictures are really too small that we cannot see so that's the reason we have to scale them now you will see that in create sprite last two numbers are also width and height but those two don't work if you add animation okay so uh, if you change these two numbers in create sprite it won't work if you add a animation so if like uh, you just wanted a gray square one simple one so then you can change it but if you are using not a gray one but you are adding an animation to it then you shouldn't like even if you write one one it won't change we have to scale it okay so bow dot scale or variable dot scale we are creating the groups so how to create the syntax is red b equals to red b is the variable so can be anything in your case red b equals to new group and then just uh, the regular brackets you just to close it so that's how you do how you make a new group okay so without this if you add red balloon in the uh, the red group like the red b then it won't work to use it first you have to create it right yes now we have we are declaring score as zero now okay so they said that we have to have the score as zero in the initial state before we score anything so that's the reason we have to do this score equals to zero okay now moving ground so this is for the ground moving background dot velocity x equals to minus three so this is the velocity so that it moves so that the ground moves if background dot x is less than zero if the background goes behind that we cannot see behind the canvas like back as you can see so then a half of the background should be joined again to it which looks like it's like just going and going it's like an infinite scrolling okay next bow y, bow y equals to world dot mouse so that means the bow should go according to the mouse okay mouse x not the x position just the y position y position means the like if uh, you keep the mouse at the top it should go to the top but if you keep it re really far the bow won't come to like to the left side or right side it will just move up and down according to the mouse position now if key down space then create arrow sorry if key down space create arrow means that when we press the space key suppose as you can see then create arrow the function create arrow should be read or should be implemented okay and what's the create create arrow function i'll just show you create arrow function where arrow equals to create sprite so this is the arrow and this is x position y position width and height okay and uh, the image we are adding the image so arrow dot y equals to bow dot y that means arrow dot y means arrows y position is going to be according to the bow's y position which and the bow's y position is according to the mouse pointers y position right so it automatically means that the arrows po y position equals to our mouse pointers y position okay now arrow the velocity x equals to minus 4 so whenever we press the space key as you can see the arrows are moving why because we added a velocity to it so implementing create arrow means implementing all of these right so we have added the velocity to it that means it will show like it's moving so now uh, me sitting in this chair will think that whenever we press the space key then the arrow will move okay arrow dot lifetime equals to 100 so we are adding a lifetime that means uh, now the arrow will just pass as you can see one second see the arrow is just getting passed um there was a i'll i'll just make a draw of them that it will be easy no like after this go these all arrows go out of the screen to the left side 
then we'll not be able to see but the computer has the like the arrow in its memory and we don't want to waste the computer's memory right so that's the reason we have to add a lifetime lifetime means like lifetime of the thing okay so if you add 100 now if you add really less lifetime i'll show you what will happen okay let's see 10 so it will disappear see as you can see it's getting disappeared because the lifetime is too short now if we keep 150 now one second i'll just see the arrow is going forever like it will go and then after a few minutes or um, lifetime is counted according to the seconds so after 150 seconds it will just die okay um, i'm not sure if it's seconds or i'm not actually sure about that um, i need to find it out so uh, it's just a calculation which they use okay so arrow dot scale equals to 0 0.3 so zero arrow dot scale that means we are scaling the arrow okay sorry we are scaling the arrow so we are making the arrow little small so actually the arrow is really big i'll show you how big the arrow is okay see the arrow is too big but it doesn't really match the bow is too small and the arrow is too big doesn't make sense right that's the reason we have to scale it okay and arrow do, group dot add arrow that means we are adding the variable arrow inside arrow group okay so arrow group dot add arrow that means the arrow group is adding the variable arrow in it okay and return arrow so return arrow means that it should keep going like that so it's the same thing for uh, all the all the things like red balloon pink balloon green balloon it's the same thing okay so next where select balloon equals to math dot round random one comma four that means so that random balloon should come from the left side okay so why uh, how are we going to do that it's like this okay so void dot ma frame count module is 100 2 equals 2 so or 3 also works 0 then then what should happen so if world dot frame count means that every 100 frame, frame count so every 100 frame count there should um so one of this should happen okay so if select balloon equals equals to 1 so here we said that one of the so this is the syntax for creating random numbers okay so select balloon is just a variable that you can keep anything so choose balloon anything you wish for okay equal to mat dot round that's the you know syntax for mat dot round mat dot round actually means a mat dot round why do we use round if we don't use the round then what will happen that it would come in decimals so that's the reason we need that math dot round and we don't want in decimals okay so random one comma four that means random things should come from random numbers should be generated from one two three four so any of these four numbers one should be okay if world dot frame count modulus is hundred two equals to zero so double equals to zero that means every hundred frame count so if world dot frame count there are frame counts over here so if, um, now we have divided this by 100 okay so every 100 frame counts then so 100 divided by 100 is 0 right so that's the reason every 100 frame count a uh, uh, something should happen from any of this so either red balloon green balloon or blue balloon should be released okay next so if select balloon 2 equals to 1 that means if select balloon that means the variable select balloon chooses like chooses number 1 so 1 out of 4 1 then what would happen red balloon will be released so else if select balloon 2 if the select balloon selects the number 2 then green balloon should be released likewise okay 
so now this is the main thing arrow group dot is touching red b that means if the arrow group is touching arrow group is the group for arrow oh my god i have to scale it i forgot to scale it oh yeah yeah okay so if the arrow group this is the arrow group so it's a group so if the arrow group is touching red b that means the red group if the arrow group is touching the red group then what should happen red b dot destroy each so red b dot destroy each means that the red balloon dot destroy each means the one that is getting touched by the arrow should get destroyed okay not the whole group so that that's what they say red b dot destroy each means one should be destroyed okay so arrow group dot destroy each we are destroying one of the 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 arrow which is touching the red balloon okay so score equals to score plus one so score equals to score plus one that means the score this is what zero equals to score plus one so one is added to the score okay likewise it's the same thing if arrow actually i made a little differentiation so if red then one point will be extra if green then two points will be added blue three points and pink four points okay and this lastly text uh cross brackets text bracket um then colon space because we need space between the scores so i'll just show you what if without the space as you can see in score colon there's a little space now if i backspace the space over here it was like this before now i'm backspacing it now let's see what will happen now you can see that there's no space between the colon now if i add so much space so this much is too much actually then see there's a lot of space between score and zero but i thought that one space would be looking good yeah and then score whatever the score is that will be printed on the screen and this is the um this is where the score should be placed okay so and then same thing so function red balloon so this is the same what i have discussed for create arrow it's the same thing actually same to same exactly same so um it's the same thing so i have already discussed so i think i do not need to discuss uh, for everything it would take a lot of time so this was the end of the project and end of this series so balloon buster is ended this is the last part okay so this game ended now you will start a new project for next class so if you like this video please like share and subscribe don't forget to ring the notifications bell and comment if you have any doubts regarding this project or if you want me to make any videos regarding the project that you are getting stuck on so i'll always be happy to help thank you bye